Oh my god. Guys, I've got a bougie ring light for Christmas. I got a bougie ring light for Christmas. And um I don't I don't quite know how to set it up. I don't know whether this looks too much now. I feel very formal and I Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm just sat here like Hello. So I don't really know how to do this. I also just picked a spot, which I don't know why I did, because I knew I was coming to do a video. Today's video is all about my 2021 goals, but I'm obviously not prepared. So two seconds. I just need to text my mum before I forget. Rude of me. <laughs> I feel like, I feel so silly. <laughs> okay. 2021 is here and I did kind of want to get this video up a little bit earlier than now but you know I'm not gonna put pressure on myself 2021 is here does anyone else just feel so much better about this year than last year to be fair I probably said this last January I say it every year every year I think next year is going to be a good year, you know. I do, I say every time. Anyway, but I did write my little goals in here. Now, I tend to approach goals slightly differently to other people. And I think that is because I kind of know how I work. Last year, I really t learned that what I tend to do is set got so many goals or I want to achieve so much at one time that I spread myself so thin that I end up not really achieving anything or not, I might achieve some things but not really feeling like I'm getting anywhere. So what I found helped last year was I did something called the Happiness Project which, can I insert a video now? Yeah, I'll put it up, oh sorry, I nearly knocked you over then, got a bit excited, up here about the video that I did because I started the Happiness Project. And that is basically inspired by Gretchen Rubin, who you create like a mantra for the year. I think she does a word. And then you do three things every single month that you do every single day for that month. So how I did it was I wrote loads and loads of goals that I wanted to achieve. And it's funny, I'll get onto it. Loads of things that I wanted to do. And then each month I would pick three of those things. I'll just spat, sorry if you just saw that. Uh, I would pick three of those things and I would do them every single day. So in January, it might have been something like yoga every day, do something for someone else every day, and I don't know, give up coffee or something like that. I did all three of those actually. Another month, it was like get rejected every day. That was a good, really good fun. Anyway, I thought I would follow something very similar this year. So there's a lot I've kind of done it slightly differently but I've kind of done it the same there's quite a few things that I would like to achieve first things is I want to read more than I did last year I kind of want to beat that every single year in 2019 I think I read about 19 books last year I think I read around 24 when I say read I don't just have to read them I can do audio books as well I don't put too much pressure on myself and then yeah this year I want to beat that and I have already written one and it's only third written one Christ I've only read I've already read one and it's only just the third of January so I've already I'm really quite sticking to that one as a personal trainer this might come as a bit of a surprise to some people but I've never actually completed a training guide from start to finish ever that's weird isn't it as a personal trainer and I'm gonna do it this year I have been writing one myself that basically will, the workouts are, it's still progressive overload, which is what you want from a training program, but it's very mindful of where you are in your cycle. So I've written that and I'm going to start doing that. There's also a few other fitness goals that I'd like to get under 25 minute 5k and under a 45 minute 10k, but because my hormones are still a little bit here, there and everywhere, there's no pressure on when I do that. And actually I feel like that's kind of the thing with this year is there is no real pressure to ever like to do these things. I just think it would be nice to be able to work. Uh, I would like to start sea swimming, which I have kind of done. I was very lucky. I got a paddle board for Christmas and a wetsuit. So I thought I went out on Christmas, on New Year's Eve, out onto the water, put a picture here. And that was lovely. It was cold, but I really enjoyed it. So I want to start go, uh, sea swimming. There are a few things like, I'd like to reach 10,000 followers on Instagram. So if you're watching this, you could help. I'd love to reach 10,000 subscribers. We're a little bit more further off than 
that, but who knows if I put it out there, right? So there's a few like businessy goals, especially as now I'm self-employed. If you don't know, I'm self-employed now. So there's quite a few, I've got a few business goals. A huge one of mine is to continue like working on my hormones and get a regular. It's more of, I really want to just give 100% to everything. Oh, here's my mother. Hello. Yeah. But I'm trying to not really put too much pressure on myself about 2021 goals. And I don't think I've spoken about it on here on YouTube. Um, but I have actually developed my own journal and I'm so pumped by it. And it looks something like this. So you put the day and then it's got a daily intention. So on this day, yesterday, it was to be successful. Then it has three things you're grateful for and three affirmations. Then three things I'd like to achieve today, which I actually only achieved one of them, but I'm about to tick off those two in a second. And then the feeling I'd like to take with myself today and then my dream. Now, I love dream journals, but some people aren't really into their dreams. So I've just said, don't worry about the dream. Just make notes instead, like use that as your notes. Then it's got your food diary. And then in the evening, it has got a whole new separate page so you could literally just leave this by your bed and just fill it in before sleep and when you wake up but it's like one thing I enjoyed today one thing I learned today one thing I did for someone else one thing I laughed at today and how I moved my body today now if you are in um HA recovery that could like obviously just be like restorative yoga or stretching or walking or something then it's got thoughts and feelings I'd like to feel tomorrow and then just general thoughts pages I'm not just saying this because it's my own but I just feel like it has helped me so so much just in the past what three days because it's real short and snappy there's so many prompts but it really gets you thinking about who you want to be that day rather than what you have to do that day if that makes sense it also has at the start of the month it has a monthly goals list now this goes back to what I was talking about earlier that I'm trying to not focus on huge 2020 2021 goals but more like monthly three things so this is goals I'd like to achieve this month three things I can commit to every single day for this month so this is dress up and show up and what I mean by that is my version of that so I actually like get up and put clothes on right whereas in lockdown it's been a bit hit and miss and be of service so by doing something for someone else every single day and also just the word 100% because I want to give 100% to everything this month. This month will be, and that's just like a blank space for you to kind of like map out how you want this month to go. At the end of the month has a monthly reflection page, which is whether you achieved your goals, what you've learned, what you enjoyed, that kind of thing. And also if you're into the moons like I am, or you're wanting to like kind of dip, or you want to learn a little bit more about like the moon cycle and stuff, it has a new moon page and a full moon page. Now this looks really flimsy. This is a one of the drafts uh, I don't actually oh yeah I do have one I'll show you it's a lot thicker the actual one that you guys will get and it's actually all wrapped up ready to go but it's uh, like a glossy uh, front cover and slightly thicker front cover whereas that was just like a little drafty flimsy one that I got printed to start with and um, this is one that is ready to go to Steph yeah that's my journal so I feel like for my goals in 2020 that's how I'm going to be like noticing them and setting them and planning them and I'm looking at more of like small things I can do each month rather than huge things I can put loads of pressure on myself to do and then not do them and fail so if you would like to do to purchase a journal which I realize this has been a shameless plug uh if you would like to purchase a journal then please head to the link down below yeah that's my goals for 2021 and that is how I'm going to hopefully be achieving them through my journal by keeping note of them because we have to keep track of our progress and that's all I've got to say. Happy New Year everybody and I hope you have a successful year and I hope 2021 is better for us all. Love you, bye.